So folks, I just got here. All I've pretty much unloaded is my chair and gave the chickens and the pigs some old potato chips. William said I, I look cold, he wanted me to warm up. And what he gave me, here it looks like it's got eggs in it, don't it? <laughs> look, if you look at it through the light, through the light, I don't know if you can look at it, see that through the light. Yeah, you can see it. Those are plums in here. This is plum flavored moonshine. He said, this will warm you up. I said, okay. I said, you gonna make me drink this early in the morning? He said, yep. I said, I've done it before. And hey, you can't say you've been drinking all day if you don't start in the morning. It's good. <laughs> yes, it will warm you up. Did you have this in the refrigerator? It's cooling me down, it feels like. It feels like it's got a chilling effect. I just guess I'm cool like that. <laughs> we'll be back, folks. We're going to do some crazy stuff. We're going to have some good times. Y'all seen all them damn deer? I ain't lying. Folks, I'm coming over here walking, walking around William's tool shed. And I look up here to see what he's done built. I thought these were like bird's nests from far away. But I come over here closer and they, he's got drill hangers. He built out of like a four inch PVC pipe, right? Yep, my dad built it. Your dad did it. Wow. Well, yep. That's it's a great freaking idea. Hangers and you got a place to put your chargers. Yep. I got to build a wall here so I can drop it down. to Put, know, put some more shit down here? Yeah, well, the short people world. It's a little tall yeah, to grab right now. Yeah, it is a little bit. Yeah. But uh, I got you. Yeah, all your tools. Shoot yeah. Slide right in there. That's a great idea. Holds them. You, so, you got a uh, shelf for your. Show us your, what you got. Your, your new ones. You got a new. Uh, I got this whole Milwaukee set for for, for, for Christmas. Christmas. For Christmas. Yep. Cordless. Skill saw. Skill saw. They all run off of the same same battery pack, I guess. Nope. This one, the smaller ones are different. Let's this. go. Hit, hit that one. Little ratchet. That's nice. Always nice to have a ratchet. A cordless ratchet. That's a drill. Little drill bit. I mean a drill. Drill driver, impact driver. Yep, half inch. Damn, that sounds powerful. And what is this? A light. A flashlight came with it. And it's a lot. Like, and a, a damn impact driver. And a small impact driver. Small impact driver. It also, which I have not had a chance to play with it yet. What is that? Like a sander? Orbital sander. Oh, cool. Yeah, it came with an orbital sander. Yeah. And then, that's neat. That's neat. then I got the M12. That's old, you've been had that one for a while. Yeah. So folks, what we're fixing to do now is uh, I bought these wheel spacers for my four-wheeler. And uh, <laughs> we can't really see in there. I can get a flashlight, I guess. But uh, it almost, whenever I went down the hill around my lake, down the bottom of my hill, uh, it hits on the, the inside of the wheel tire hits on the dang shroud mount for this thing. And I beat it in as best I could. So it ain't gonna work for me. I'm gonna take those one of the, half inch wheel spacers off we're gonna put these two inch spacers on there but they don't fit right now because of this chubby and i should put this damn lip on there that damn little lip right there it's got to come off so we're going to dremel it i guess or something and uh then we'll be able to fit it inside the centers of my wheels it won't fit it won't fit in the center of the wheel because of that stupid lip that they put on there otherwise they're going to be good wheel spacers so We'll be back after a while, folks. We're gonna, I'm gonna sit my ass down. Okay, so we got, we got these, so what we're gonna do, uh, tell them what you're gonna do. All right, so this hub, there's absolutely no way that, that hub it's gonna fit is gonna fit in that rim. Right. They're the, same, they're the same diameter. Right. They're yep. the exact same diameter. It won't fit on the inside. So, so it won't we're gonna sit, have to it pop won't, these off. It won't sit flush. Nope. And since he has conical washers, what is or conical it's, nuts, it's, anyway. Explain to us what conical is. Well, you see how that's a cone right, right there on the end. Conical. And conical. <laughs> these are all conical, so okay. it's self-centering. It's a matching set. So you don't need that hub. Right. There's hub-centric and lug-centric wheels. Okay. Lug-centric wheels are what uses the conical nuts, whereas hub-centric, some of them just use flat nuts, and you got to have this hub piece here. Okay. So we're going to delete this hub piece. Yep, that little lip. It, I call it a little lip. Get rid of that little lip. Yep. I gotta pop out. So how you, show us how you just pop, he just popped out one of them. Uh, and let's just, this, a lot of people will know to learn how to do this. this. This is how you would do this. If you have to, if you buy some Chinese stuff like me, that one, that little legs got a little tight. We won't have to chase the threads on or something. No. 
Is okay, so you just you just put That's one. I also smacked it with a hammer. You put one on there. Put another one on there. Put a and couple. You want them to kind of put a couple lock, lug nuts, and you don't want it. To, you don't want your stud to stick out from it nope. either. You want it in there a little bit. Yeah, and don't hit the conical side either. Nope. So then you huh. just take it and hit it with a hammer until it pops back out. Until it's up there, yep. and then you can unscrew that one, and then unscrew that one a little further out. Yep, knock it back through. Because see, those are those are steel and they're pressed into aluminum, so it just pops them right on out through the back. Marty, go. and that'll get them out of the way for us to be able to grind that lip off. Yep. So they just pressed them in with a press at the at the uh, wherever they made them in China. I'm pretty sure they probably came from China. Probably. They but come then, off eBay or Amazon. When you put them back, when you put those studs back in. You line up the little splines. Yep. Yep. There's little splines there's on little there. Little splines on the back. Yep. And then when you, you draw tighten down. down the nut, it'll draw them pull back it, through. Pull it right on back in there. So you gotta you gotta torque it pretty good to get it to pull it back in through there probably. That's the problem <laughs> that you run into if you go back. You gotta knock it back through just enough to don't strip out them down them splines though. You can always put a an extension regular, on the end of it and pop it through. Anyway, folks, that's how you do that. And uh, we're going to do eight of those. We're going to take off eight studs and we're going to grind them down, them lip, lips off and, and put it back together. And I'm going to take them one and a half inch spacers back to the house with me and throw them on Facebook Marketplace and sell them. If anybody needs them, Y'all put your comment down below and we, you can buy them from me like that. And I think, how much do you think I should sell them for? About 20. They got no rides on them? 20 bucks? Yeah. 20 bucks for the set, but you pay the shipping. There you go. Okay, folks. So this is how we're going to cut the uh, lip off of this. Okay, we don't have to have a, happen to have a vise right here handy. So what we've done is we've taken the studs out, like you saw before. We, we went ahead and beat them through while it was on the ground. And we mounted the... Uh, wheel spacer to the hub and we're going to just use this as our vise to hold it in place while William takes the saws off and uh, just chops that little lip off just like this go get as close as possible that comes off of it it got a little deep on there but that's okay we won't have to put this one in a grinder or nothing that'll just uh that'll be perfect now he'll take that back off of there go ahead and pop the studs back through there and then reinstall it yep and that job will be done <laughs> that's the way you do it folks when you ain't got a vice so uh lock tight folks this is the thread locker that came with it so william's gonna put just a drop on each stud here that stuff will come out. Did you cut the, there it goes. There you go. We gotta have some more of that shit. We gotta have, we gotta have to take it some more, you think? Mm, Is there maybe. a store around here that sells that crap? Oh yeah. Trace right. going at auto parts stores here in a minute anyway. Yep. So don't let it tip over. We're, well, yep, we're barely enough to do the other side, I don't think. So, uh, you can see here on my wheel, folks, on my tire, where it was rubbing. Right around there. Yep. So y'all remember William come over and I gave him that four-wheeler. 
Remember that, that kid wrecked a four-wheeler and his mama wouldn't let him drive it no more? I gave, gave it to William, folks. How's the four-wheeler been doing for you? It's been doing good. <laughs> carburetor yep. and uh, all that. I haven't had any issues out of it. It's still it's going. brought plenty of deer back to the house. Brought plenty of deer back to the house. Hell yeah. Took yeah. you to the river plenty of times. Oh, yeah. Down to the trails and stuff. Yep. We get this one fixed here. We'll go for a ride after a while. Oh, yeah, here in just a little while. Maybe go down to the river. Look and see how high the river is. It ain't been raining in a while, so. No, it's high. It is high? Because all that damn snow and shit melting up there. Well, it's all the rain we had. We did have some rain, and I think we're going to have some more. Yep. Looks like a hell of a storm's coming through here Saturday or Sunday. All right, here we go. There you go. Now, once we get the, uh, once we put the uh, wheel on there, we won't be able to get to those lug nuts. Nope. So we need to go ahead and torque them down. Get them torqued down pretty good before we put the wheel on. I had to speak between <laughs> lugs. If I were you. Yep. I would try to get me some longer studs. Longer studs to go through there? Yep, because if you look right up in here, yep. you ain't got a whole lot of threads. Nope, sure don't. You ain't got a whole lot of threads touching. Nope, okay. So I would try to get me some, some longer studs in the future. Now, will it ride forever? Probably. Oh yeah, probably so. With some thread locker on it, that's a good thing we did that because of that. Yep, there ain't a whole lot so of So is that torque down pretty good with that impact? Yep. I can give her a quick, click. Act back, I'll do that. With a, with a wrench or a, a, a teeter bar? All right, folks, so that's pretty much how you do it. We're going to get one wheel on before we end this clip, this, this, this segment. We'll at least get one more, one tire on before we end this segment. We're going to do the other side, too. Even though it wasn't rubbing on it, that nothing to rub on. We're going to, we're going to have a one-inch spacer, one-and-a-half-inch spacer on one side and a two-inch spacer on the other side. That'll just be wobble, lopsided. So he got a damn actual torque wrench. It looks like he's going to pull out. Yep. I don't know what the torque is on it, but. Well, we're going to go 70 foot pounds. That's probably way more than they call for. Hey, is he leaving now? Uh, yeah. Probably. Get us a thread locker. <laughs> Get us a thread locker. <laughs> he sat on my foot again, folks. Look. Sat right on my foot again. Look at you. Look at you. Sitting on my foot. Sitting on my foot. No, that's my foot, buddy. That's my foot you sat on. You crazy dog. Sat right on my foot again. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> I ain't got no cash or I'd pay for it. Yep. We're gonna put a good click click on all these. Good. Make sure it's 70 pounds each. They're probably more than that already. Oh, nope. It turned a little bit. What is a what is a car usually? Uh, 100. 100 for a car? 100 and there, about 100. For lugs, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Bob's your uncle. Now, when we put the tire on, we got to do the same thing on the outside lug. Right. To Samson 70 again? Yep. And thread locker, right? Yep. All right. We may not be able to do the other wheel until he gets back. We no, don't have I, think, I think there's going to be enough. Yeah? Maybe. I don't know. We're going we're gonna to try it. We're going to see if we got enough. All right. We'll be cutting. We'll probably be cutting. How long does he take to get there and back, you think? About 20, 30 minutes. Oh, well, that ain't far. We won't even be done cutting that lip off yet by then. Maybe. We still got to knock the st studs out of the other one. It depends if he's got to go to... No, what you call it? Yeah. Something. Right. So that's how it's going to fit. It fits on there pretty good like that. Let me look in here and see. 
Oh, yeah. We're good now.